What's up guys? I uh, wanted to talk about something that uh, I wish I would have known right when I got into knives. It's something that a lot of people have trouble with. Uh, you see a lot of people on the forums talking about it. And uh, I think I can help some people out maybe with what I found that works really well. Oh shit. Stacks up pretty good, doesn't it? Uh, I just posted my contest rules and I talked about 9-11 in the video. And that video hasn't been up but like two hours and I've already lost two subscribers. I, I don't understand why people would dislike me talking about 9-11 and uh, I, I, I don't get it but it's not important. <laughs> I just wanted to say that I, I don't understand how you can dislike me saying that we need to remember 9-11. I don't know if I have some anti-American subscribers or what but if they left me because of that then I think I'm better off without them being subscribed to my channel so uh, if you haven't figured it out yet what I'm talking about is knife disassembly uh, specifically Torx bits they're notoriously finicky and uh, hard to work with as you can see especially the little ones like uh, the T6s that come on a lot of Spydercos, a lot of Benchmades, and uh, knives like that. They're extremely hard to work on if you don't have the right tool, and uh, the right tool is hard to find. The best set that I've come across, the Benchmade Blue Box, is okay, but it only comes with 6, 8, and 10. It comes with two of each, two sixes, two eights, two tens. And they're alright, but Honestly, it's not as good or as versatile as having a kit that goes 5 through 10 right here. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And uh, this set comes from Ace Hardware. It's, uh, it's Ace brand. I think it's the Professional Precision Torx kit or something like that. It just comes in a fake leather pouch with little, uh, uh, not Velcro, little... Uh, Shit, what's it called? Elastic bands. You can stick them in. It's a nice little zipper case, but I have a little, uh, almost like a little tackle box thing that I keep my knife tools in. So I keep these in there, and uh, this set is literally like 12 bucks from Ace Hardware. So if you have an Ace around you, go pick like two sets of these up. You want two because sometimes you need uh, two of the same same size. If you don't have an Ace Hardware, I'm pretty sure you could order it online. And I've gone through a bunch of Torx sets, and honestly, these are the best. I've heard the Weeha set is good. I haven't tried it. But I, I just don't see how uh, it could be much better than this. A lot of Torx sets you get will be cheap Chinese pot metal. It's not hardened, not treated or anything. This is actually, uh, it's pretty good metal. It's not soft at all. And it's coated with, I think it's almost like a diamond coating right here. It's really grippy and it's really hard. And I think that's a lot of where the uh, hardness comes from on these. There you go. You can see the heads. Uh, that's good that you can see the heads because I'm going to show you something that's pretty important. Uh, this right here will wear off eventually. So what I do is I go ahead and mark, like that's a 7. I don't know if you can tell. It's a shitty 7, but it's a 7. Uh, I just mark them up here with a uh, silver sharpie. Okay, the most common sizes you're going to work with are uh, 7, 6, 8, 9, and 10. Let me go ahead and preface this by saying the uh, number 6 driver is this side. This number 6 driver is technically a T6 Torx, but number 6 bits are not normally uh, fit right. I'm going to try and show you this. I hope you can see that uh, that wiggle in there. See how much that wiggles? This is a T6 bolt with a T6 uh, driver and it, and it wiggles. And what you'll end up doing is if you're not putting the correct amount of downforce, you have to really push in, almost like you're trying to push through to the other side of the knife. You have to really push in as you're twisting because if you're just twisting you're going to round off the screw and or uh, your driver right here as you can see this thing is fairly 
new and clean and uh, not dinged up or anything, it's hard to get the camera to focus on these little things because I don't use the T6 a lot and I'll show you why. The, uh, the T7 is my most used Torx driver because T6 is the most common uh, size that I have. But let me tell you this, the uh, Ace Hardware Precision Set, Precision Set, the T7 head uh, is absolutely perfect for the T6 bolts. Uh, you may have to, the first time you use it, you may have to uh, push the driver in really far or really hard into the, uh, the screw. God, I can't get this camera to focus. The first time you use a T7 on a T6, you may have to really drive it in there to get that coating off. But after you do, uh, I want to show you how snug this is. I'm twisting back and forth and there's absolutely zero play. That's exactly what you want. See how good it twists that? I'm going to go ahead and snug it up. Okay, this is a T7 in a T6 absolutely no wiggle at all. I'm going to go ahead and grab the T6 and put it in a T6 and show you. See that wiggle? It's It's been a problem. I have yet to find a T6 that actually fits the T6 bolt. So I highly suggest if you plan on disassembling your knives, buy the Ace Hardware set, use the number 7 on the number 6 screws because that that fit, after I get it to focus, that fit right there will keep you from stripping the screws. As long as you have adequate downforce, as in pushing into the screw, you're pretty much guaranteed you're not going to strip the screw. Uh, if you're working with quality screws. Spyderco uses good screws. Uh, Benchmade uses good screws. But, I love Spyderco. I don't want to say anything bad about them. I mean, this isn't really anything bad, but 9 out of 10 of my Spyderco knives, and I have I've had 30 or 40. I don't currently have that many. 9 out of 10 of them come with loose screws. And they're not so loose that they'll fall out, but they are loose enough that it makes a big difference when you snug them up and not, the knife is just more solid. Uh, again, use the T7 on the T6 and you'll never have trouble. I hear so many people, I strip my torque screw, what do I do? Or I can't find quality tools, the head strips out. These heads won't strip out, and the T7 is an absolute perfect fit for the T6 screws. The rest are, are pretty much matched. I don't know if manufacturers, manufacturers just have problems with manufacturing T6. The tolerance just may be too hard for them to do with their equipment. But uh, I want to demonstrate this is a T10, and the pivot on a paramilitary 2 is a T10. And... Uh, if the camera will focus. There we go. See how little it wiggles? This camera has never had focusing trouble. Okay, you see how little that wiggles? That's a good fit. It's not great, but it's good. Uh, look for a T9 here. Look for a T9. Process of elimination, this has to be a 9. Okay. Here we go with a 9 after it focuses. Very little wiggle. There is still some there. So uh, you're going to want to make sure you use adequate downforce. Because there is still just a tiny bit of wiggle in there. Uh, I have found that T8s can be a little... Uh, there's some variation with them. If your 8 isn't fitting just right, really snug in there, go ahead and... Uh, force the T9 in there. You're not going to mess up the screw and you're not going to mess up the driver. The only thing you're going to do is uh, lose some of that coating on the end. I'm sorry this camera's not focusing. I don't know what the deal is. All you're going to do is lose some of that coating on the end and uh, that's not really that important. So uh, once again I want to reiterate use a T7 for the T6 bit or for the T6 screw and uh, you can never go wrong. If I would have known this information right when I started getting into knives it would have helped me greatly because I stripped many a screw, I ruined many a tool 
and it just really frustrated the hell out of me when I first started doing this. I, it was really annoying that people would put uh, clip screws on here that I just couldn't manipulate. I could never change the clip because my tools would break or either I would strip the screw because I was using improper tools or improper technique or whatever. Uh, one thing that I have learned to appreciate are manufacturers that use uh, bits like this. These are hex bit or uh, Allen keys, Allen bits. You use Allen keys to uh, take them apart. And also these new Chicago screws they're using, you can use the Allen head on both sides. And that's uh, great. That's one thing, one of many things that Chris Reeve does exactly right. Uh, their screws are great quality. So with Spydercos, you just have to really pay attention to what you're doing. So uh, anyway, I hope this wasn't too jumbled together. I didn't put together any kind of script or anything like that for this. I just wanted to uh, show you guys what I have found that works great. And uh, I've literally bought three of these sets, two to keep here and one to travel with. I like them that much. And uh, this is my oldest set. This is the same T7 I've been using ever since I got this set. Uh, a little over a year ago and the T7 is still going strong so if this material can stand up that to that kind of use it's it's quality stuff and again it's 12 bucks at Ace Hardware if you don't have an Ace around you order it and uh, if this helps you guys out let me know because I have tons tons of tricks like this that uh that I found out I tinker constantly if I'm not making videos I'm taking apart a knife modding it doing whatever so I'm constantly tinkering I may do some videos of that kind of stuff but if this helped y'all out then let me know and uh, I'll do some more of these videos thanks bye